Perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. The autistic one can do what your calculators can do on your desks. And they don't need a calculator. Give them a problem. Give them, give them two digits multiplied by three digits and watch how fast they give you the answer. Because they're nonlinear. Ask them, what day the 13th will be of August in 2012? And they'll tell you. And they don't need a calendar, and they don't need a calculator. And you might say, what kind of a mind can do that? And I'll tell you, a nonlinear one. Have you ever thought about that? A nonlinear mind? The barriers are dropped. What is taking place, dear ones, for all to know and see and understand that very, very slowly so as not to create chaos, you have the linearity of the human brain starting to drop in ways so that the walls will still be balanced to make sense, but that you can, you can go beyond them anytime you wish. I'm going to give you some attributes of human evolution in a moment. But let's return to the autistic one. You want to know why there are so many autistics being born? It just is out of kilter. There's more autistic children of all kinds of autism being born today than there ever have been on this planet. And you're all scurrying around wanting to know what's wrong. Is it chemistry? Is it what we're putting in their food? Something's wrong. You say, oh, it must be vaccinations. Yes, that's it. Vaccinations must be it. Anything to solve the puzzle of why so many are here and not one human has looked at the puzzle and says, perhaps we're evolving. This is the first wave of what we're going to see. Not on balance, but non-linear thinking. Watch the autistic child go through what they do in its most severe form. They are so non-linear that there is so much frustration in trying to linearize even the human voice as they speak to them. They will do the same thing over and over and over and over to try to linearize the non-linear. The walls are gone in their brain. They are so conceptual. All of the DNA has been activated that is quantum. And they are like the Lemurians. And you see them as what? A problem. That is not a problem. Blessed are those who come as the new wave to show you where it's going. Oh, it will morph. It will develop. For it will develop in a balanced way where not all humans will be what you call autistic. Indeed, they will have the autistic talents when they want them. And they'll be linear when they want that. That's what the human mind is capable of. Let me tell you something that's non-linear in your life. We have said this so seldom. You're given two quantum things as a human being. Two things that pass between the other side of the veil and this side of the veil that are absolutely quantum, that are not linear. They have structure, but they're not linear. Perhaps you haven't even thought about them. I'll tell you what they are. Art and music. There is no limit to the number of notes that you can hear at the same time that your brain can listen to and put together. There's no limit to the number of symphony orchestra players that can, that can come together in harmony. And the more you add, the better it gets. Try that with lecturers. <laughs> Uh, you ever think about that? There's no limit to the number of colors that you can comprehend and see in certain patterns. They're so beautiful in communications. Music touches your heart. Now you know why. It's interdimensional. It's quantum. It was designed to. Now, apply that same scenario 
to communication. And you'll see where you're going. This is human involvement. It's beginning on this planet. It'll go slow. But that's what's going on. Let me give you a couple of the attributes of what to expect. A quantum mind, as it starts to develop, is one that is going to start understanding what we will call the timing of synchronicity. You call that patience. Patience is a result of a linear mind that didn't get what they thought they would at the time frame they thought it would arrive. Or one who taps their toe because the time frame doesn't go fast enough for them. The impatient person is totally and completely linear. The new consciousness will see a relaxation in patience because there will be an understanding about synchronized timing. Messages will be given and you won't think that they're given for you to do right now. There will be something placed upon the messages, something that you cannot understand now, for you're not quantum. And that is when in a quantum state, <laughs> to look forward to the synchronicity. Very difficult to describe to a three-dimensional audience what that's like. Freedom. It's a freedom of thought, so that you're not always stuck in the clock, you're not always disappointed, you're not always goal-setting. You are happy just to be. And you know that the things that are coming will happen in the appropriate time, and synchronicity will bring them there. And you don't worry about it. And not, and not have anxiousness about it, go into drama about it. Eventually there'll be no human being who'll ask the question, when is this going to happen? Because you're all part of the bigger picture, and you'll know what it's supposed to. And you'll be pleased with that, and happy with that. Can you imagine such a state? There's been much said about the consciousness of the children coming into this planet. And we've saved this almost to last. As proof of what we are speaking of is this. We call this attribute becoming more in touch with the Akash. <laughs> that it speaks of a knowledge of what is inside you in the DNA. What kind of a child would that create? First of all, it would be a child who does not want to learn in a linear fashion where they see the end result and the concept as you try to teach them the parts. And that's what's going on today, if you noticed. And so you have children who don't want to sit still while the teacher gives them a pablum of linearity when they already see the result. And you've called it disease. And you've given it names unbalanced. You put them in groups. And you've even drugged them. Humans do that. You're not willing to see the next wave of evolution, are you? Education on the planet right now is convinced that human nature is static, and that is to say it'll never change. So they are fine with developing learning systems that are over a hundred years old. They keep honing them, making them better and better for the student they think will have the same consciousness as they did and their parents and their parents' parents. And it's a shock when the children come in and don't be part of it. And you're seeing it. And that's what's going on. The children are growing up. They're becoming young adults. And they'll go into the workplace. And the employer will expect linear attitudes. And these young people will look at the whole concept of this and reject it. See it? <laughs> yes, yeah. You have to put them in a box. And you have to linearize their thinking. Sometimes you have to tell them it's a game to get them to cooperate. So that they'll fit into society. It's called human evolution. It's evolving before your eyes. And so many of those who are educated and ought to know better are forcing them down, making it even more frustration than they already have. It is evolution. It is clear. It is here. You're starting to see it. Wisdom. An increase in wisdom. Right now, I give you a dispensation of non-linearity. Everyone who's watching, everyone who's listening, Everyone who's reading, see who you are. There is wisdom that is increasing. You have an overwhelming overview of a bigger picture. It's awesome. It's beautiful. You're going to know it. You're going to know it. You ready to shift? Because you will. Let the seeds be planted this night for the healing you came for. Let them just mean physical. I mean mental. 
For those in the room, no matter what age, can begin a conceptual shift. That is to say, you may start activating slowly the quantum layers of DNA. This is the higher vibration of the planet. It is why the helosphere of the sun has decreased 20%. It is all related to magnetics. I told you this 20 years ago. Do not be alarmed at what happens on this earth in the next months. Listen to me. Don't go into fear, not to learn. For the, for the potentials that you might feel or might be manifest. Are you ready for that? Will you do that? Say so. Yes. There are things in 3D. And then there are things out of 3D. And it will permeate your every cell. That's why you're here. The ones listening, the ones reading, the ones hearing, are the ones that will change this planet. Even right now, as you sit here, the crystalline grid is starting to vibrate higher. How does it make you feel to know that you really made it happen? I know it sounds cryptic, but it ought to resound in your heart. You're a part of the solution. Dear human beings, dear family of mine, you're part of the solution. That's not going to change either. Let fear be a thing of the past. Let drama go away. Let the top of your countenance just lift off and hear the music. Can do that. Sit and bask in the love of spirit. It's time. You'll feel it, you'll know it.